Hey everyone, welcome back to Booga Buggy Kids Stories. In today's episode, Booga Buggy makes an autopilot machine for airplanes so that he can control where airplanes go and he ends up rerouting Elon's family vacation to all sorts of crazy places. All right, let's get started and see where he sends Elon's family. Elon was getting so excited. He and his family were about to go on a vacation to a city called Toronto, and that was in Canada. He was so excited. He's been waiting for months and months and months. And this is the first time that he was going to go on an airplane. So in the days leading up to his trip, Elon and his family all packed their suitcases and Elon got his backpack that he was going to carry on the plane. He put some books and some other coloring things in there so that he would have lots of fun on the airplane ride. But when he wasn't looking, Booga Buggy actually snuck into Elon's room and hopped in his backpack and hid underneath all those coloring books where no one would see him. And Elon didn't realize it. And so when it was time to go to the airport, Elon grabbed the suitcases and his backpack, hopped in the car, and they were off to drive to the airport. So at the airport, they parked and got all of their luggage out. And Elon made sure to grab that backpack with all of his fun things for the airplane ride. They got to the airport and it was huge. There were so many planes flying in and out. Lots of people were going different places all over the world and Elon was amazed. So they went inside the airport. They went through security where they dropped off some of their suitcases into these big cool conveyor belts that connected all the way to the plane that they were going to go into couple snacks as well for the plane ride. Booga Buggy unzipped that backpack just a little bit. So he poked out his head and he could look around too. He was also pretty curious as to what was going on. And Booga Buggy was planning something extra silly for Elon's vacation. But it wasn't time just yet. So Booga Buggy zipped. And then before you knew it, the airplane took off and was in the air. And Elon was looking out the window There were so many things to see and everything looked so small and just kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And boy, they were going so fast. This was an exciting trip, Elon thought. So about halfway through the plane ride, Elon was busy coloring. Fifey was busy eating some snacks. And mom and dad were just relaxing. And that's when Booga Buggy knew it was time to do his little secret. He unzipped that backpack a little slow so that no one would notice him. He wriggled out of there and grabbed this machine that he had brought. Boogabucky had built an autopilot machine that would take over the autopilot of an airplane. Now, an airplane's autopilot is basically where the pilot set the direction and the plane flies itself while the pilots sit back and relax. So... Booga Buggy turned this machine on. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And he changed the directions. Instead of going to Toronto, he was going to send the family and the whole plane somewhere else. And this was a really extra special machine so that not even the pilots would know what's going on. After a while, which felt like a really long time, the pilots announced that we were getting close to our destination in time to buckle up in our seats again before we land. So we started the descent. We're going lower and lower and lower and we could see the airport. Oh, it looked like a pretty big city as Elon looked out the window. And then, urch, we landed. All right, we made it, woohoo! Elon was so excited. I can't wait to get off this airplane and go run around and, and see Toronto. So we were able to get out of the plane We are in the airport and we are getting out and we were going to call for an Uber, which is kind of like a taxi to take us around to our hotel. But we looked around and and realized it doesn't seem like Toronto at all. You know, the the people had a little bit of a different way of talking here and and some of the license plate looked weird, too. You know, it was just different, kind of cool, but but different. 
And so that's when Elon's parents looked at each other, their jaws dropped, and they realized, oh my, we're actually in London, England. How did we get here? They looked back at their tickets that they had for the original flight, and yeah, it, it said it was going to Toronto, but we're in England. Oh man, Elon's parents are so stressed out. They ran back into the airport. Elon was really excited about this. He'd never been to London before either. So they caught an Uber and they drove down to a restaurant because they were hungry after that long flight. And when they stopped and got some food, all of them ordered bangers and mash. It was a special meal that they really love in London. And bangers are kind of like sausages and, and mash is the mashed potatoes. Mmm, this is delicious, they thought. Once they were done their meal, they wanted to explore. So they had time to check out one more place. And so they went to look at Big Ben. Big Ben is a massive clock at the top of a huge building. It was super cool to see. You could tell what time it is from super far away. So they looked at the clock. And the clock made noises too as it changed time. Oh good, they looked at the clock and they still had a few more hours before their flight. So they went around walking to different parks and had lots of fun in England. And when they heard Big Ben make a noise that it was getting close to their time for their flight, they were getting ready to go back to the airport. But the time on Big Ben was wrong. What had happened? They looked at their phone and they were already late for their flight. They weren't going to make it. They had no idea what happened to Big Ben. But what they didn't realize was that Booga Buggy had actually quickly snuck over to Big Ben while they were having their bangers and mash. And Booga Buggy changed the time back a few hours so that the time was wrong. So when Elon and his family looked at the time at Big Ben and thought they had more hours than they did before their flight, they didn't. And they actually missed their flight. So they all rushed to the airport and they had to book another flight to get to Toronto. They waited and waited, but finally they were able to board the plane, get buckled up, and then take off and fly again. Elon looked over at Pfeiffer and said, that was actually lots of fun. But I'm ready to go to Toronto now. So as they were flying to Toronto, Booga Buggy had snuck out of Elon's backpack again and turned on his machine, and he had another trick. All right, I know another fun place to take the family. So he changed the machine. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep and then hopped back in the backpack so that no one would find him. The pilots came over the radio and said, okay, everyone, we're making our landing to Toronto. And as they landed, Elon looked around and said, hey, dad, what's that big bridge over there? Elon's dad looked out. Oh, that's the Golden Gate Bridge, and, and that's not in Toronto. Elon and Fifey started laughing. What had happened this time? They got out of the airplane, they went through the airport, and Elon's parents realized that they were in San Francisco. They weren't in Toronto again. So Elon's parents had to book another flight to go back to Toronto. And they had almost a day to spend in San Francisco while they waited for their next flight. So they decided to go do something super fun. They went and they visited that huge bridge. It was a giant suspension bridge called the Golden Gate Bridge. And it's about a mile wide. And it stretches over the Pacific Ocean. And it was so cool and huge and nothing like Elon had ever seen before. So after they were done checking out the bridge, there was one more cool attraction to see. They went to the famous pier and they took a little ferry boat ride to an old prison called Alcatraz. Now Alcatraz was an extra special prison. It wasn't actually in use anymore, so there were no prisoners there. That's why they were able to go on a tour. But this prison was on an island. It was so cool. So they took a tour of it and they had a tour guide showing them around. And in the tour, at one point, you actually go into the prison cells so that you kind of get to see what it was like there. And just at that moment, Booga Buggy had another trick. He pulled the lever and 
all of the prison doors shut on all of the tourists, including Elon and his family. They were inside one of the prison cells. <gasps> How are we going to get out of here? Even the tour guide was locked up. Boogabuggy was laughing so hard. This is the silliest prank I've ever done, he thought. But just then, Elon's dad and mom remembered something. They had watched a movie once called The Great Escape, where someone was able to tunnel out of Alcatraz and escape from prison in a really sneaky way that no one would notice. So they got to work. Elon and his family all helped tunnel out, and they escaped from the prison. They actually snuck back in to rescue everyone else as well while Booga Buggy wasn't looking. And they hopped on that ferry to get back because it was almost time for their flight again. Elon and his family got on another plane headed to Toronto. And by this time, the airplane staff had realized what was been going on. Well, they didn't quite realize, but what they did know was that the autopilot just wasn't working anymore. It kept sending planes all over the world to really strange places. And so the pilots started to just fly the planes themselves instead of using autopilot. So that when Booga Buggy on this plane ride tried to send the plane somewhere else, it, it didn't work because they had turned that autopilot off. So after a plane ride all the way from San Francisco to Toronto, they had landed and were finally in Toronto. Woohoo, we can get the vacation started now, thought Elon and Pfeiffer. So they went out, they got some food, and then they went to visit this amazing waterfall that is on the border between Canada and the United States called Niagara Falls. It was huge, the biggest waterfall Elon had ever seen for sure. Niagara Falls was so big, every single second, over 3,000 tons of water fall down it. That's even more than 35 million cups of water. Can you just picture yourself dumping out one cup? Now picture out 35 million of that. And that's how big Niagara Falls is and how much water flows over it. Elon and his family took a little ferry that actually drove pretty close to the bottom of Niagara Falls. And they had to wear these silly plastic rain jackets to keep them from getting really wet from all the mist from that water that hit the bottom. But after they were done, they had such an amazing time in Toronto, but they had to leave back home and, and their vacation was, was coming to an end. So as they were flying home, Elon and Pfeiffer were talking all about the amazing vacation they had. They had gone to London for bangers and mash and to see Big Ben. They went to San Francisco and saw the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz, and they made it to Toronto to see Niagara Falls. That was even better than just going to Toronto for the entire time. They ended up having a, an amazing vacation because Booga Buggy sent them all over the world. Booga Buggy had tried to play a trick on them, but Elon and Pfeiffer actually had lots of fun. Man, vacations are the best, Elon and Pfeiffer thought. I can't wait to go on another one and see where our airplane takes us. Thanks for listening to another episode of Booga Buggy, where he sent Elon's family all over the world, but it ended up being an even better vacation than they had originally planned. Well, follow along for more episodes from Booga Buggy and feel free to leave a rating or review wherever you listen to your podcasts. Bye for now. 